Hi guys, I'm Amir. Today I want to explain about how to install layer 2 switch on GNS3. Because uh, Cisco devices are not installed by default and we should configure these devices manually. First, uh, we should turn on VMware Workstation and power on uh, GNS3 on VMware Workstation virtual machine. And we should wait to this machine get IP address and after that we should run GNS3. And now IP address is OK and we should run also GNS3. There are different uh, tab here and Uh, I want to press on edit tab and after that uh, preferences um, and in general we should uh, select Camo VMS and uh, and in, in this window we should run the Camo VM on my local computer and we should ignore this uh, alarm and set the name for these devices Cisco devices uh, you want to install in GNS3 for example switch layer 2 or L2 and we should uh, set the RAM and I think uh, 512 is enough ignore the console type telnet is okay and uh, there is no problem about that and uh, press on new image and browse and select the ISO image file you have downloaded or bought uh, from Cisco uh, shops and this uh, appropriated file is ISV layer 2 with uh, suffix VMD co this is very important VMD co because there, there are uh, different uh, ISO image files On finish and now it has installed uh, and we can edit something here uh, and uh, for example we can browse and uh, change the shape and symbol because uh, in, in for example in classic uh, tab there are uh, different uh, symbol for uh, Cisco devices uh, and uh, network devices uh, for example, router, switch, ASM firewall, cloud, computer, and laptop. And uh, we should search of switch, for example. I have selected this one. And in category, you should set switch groups because this is switch, it's not end user. And in the network, you should add how many adapter or interfaces you need. For example, I think this is, uh, I think 24 is okay. And uh, name format, fast Ethernet or gigabit Ethernet or, or yeah. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah. And click uh, on okay and it's finished. And in different categories, router switch, end users, um, before that it was in end user and now is uh, located in switch layer 2 and we should drag it and this is the name switch layer 2 number 1 switch layer 2 I have assigned for this switch and click on the start start uh, note this note there is any problem here, I, I faced any problem and issue or file here. We should do troubleshooting. HAXM acceleration support is not installed on, on this host. Okay, uh, we should click on uh, edit 
tab in uh, general preferences uh, we should click on camo and uh, we should remove this symbol uh, require hardware acceleration and OK. Uh, now we should uh, try again. Click on a start and you can see that it's green now and you, you don't have any problem about that. Yeah, <laughs> click again. Yeah, I want to be sure. <laughs> uh, now it's OK and uh, everything is OK and everything is ready. Uh, right click and click on console and uh, we should wait this switch run and boot because it takes uh, two or three minutes it's coming up yeah in this situation i have configured uh, this device manually because it's not uh, installed by default in GNS3 and you should uh, buy uh, Cisco images, Cisco rotor and switch and ASA firewall images uh, from shop, Cisco shop and get the iOS image. It's very important. And another thing uh, we should check here, sometimes maybe you have seen some video or some, some guideline that you can install rotor and change the symbol to switch and yeah it's it's switch but you don't have any access to switch protocols uh, for example vtp mode version 3 and some spanning tree protocols commands and vlan for example, in, in Rotor, you don't have any access to VLAN and you cannot create VLAN. And it's very important. Uh, we should test it. It works or doesn't work. And uh, yeah, we should wait for uh, the booting process uh, will be finished and complete. Yeah, no is ready we are in uh, exact mode we should write enable or en now is privilege mode and we should write configure terminal la conf t we should write for example vlan 30 we can create it it's okay and access to uh, vlan 30 for example interface vlan 30 and we can assign IP address and it's okay and it works we don't have any problem about that and come come back to config mode for example spanning tree a question mark and we can see uh, yeah you can see information and uh, other commands we can write here and another thing is VTP VTP mode is very important protocol and um, there are three versions in VTP. In Packet Tracer, you have only access to VTP version 1 and 2. And here, uh, we can choose VTP version 3. It doesn't work because I didn't assign the domain name, but, but then generally, it, it works here and we don't have any problem about that and you you can see all of the uh, protocol in switch and in layer 2 uh, networks work here I hope uh, you have enjoyed this video and see you later